Hello folks, it is August 13th, 2019. I am in Algonquin Adventure Park at Archray Campground. There's Archray, east from Pines Trail. I know you would do that right now because someone is still on the site. They have tow two, so that's fine. It's noon. It might take me two, three hours to do this. Depends how much I run. Here we go. Here we go. I think it's about 13 kilometers. Maybe there'll be a sign up ahead where it starts, I hope. Okay, this is what I was looking for here. So there's a 6K loop. And a 14.6K loop. I'm going to start out, see how I do. Maybe I just go to lookout, then head back, or maybe do the whole thing. I don't know. But what I do know is, I have my map. Yeah, I'll check progress. I got lots of time before dark. Traveling alone. Well, I am alone, so that's it. So there's just a lot of campsites out here. All right, I'm going to start. Boardwalk section right off the hop. So a duck. I don't know what that was. Beaver Dam. Oh, we're gone now. 800 meters in, first lake. Oh yeah. Very pretty. Trails my climbing quite a lot. That's the same lake. I was down there earlier. This breeze is awesome. It's keeping the bugs away, and it's refreshing. Onward. About 2k in. Look at this beast of a eastern white pine. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm 5.4k in. Nothing really exciting, just been in the bush the whole time. Thought I'd check out a campsite. Not too bad. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Big flat stone. Pretty sturdy. I don't know what lake this is. I could tell later on the map, I guess. I wonder if a portage in this lake. Oh, I don't know. We're gonna keep moving. So that campsite was way down there. Trails fall in the lake now. This is a really nice section. Much better than being in the woods, especially with these deer flies. Swarm ya nonstop. So here's where the water runs out of that lake. Looks like it might be beaver dammed. So I'm pretty much at the far end of the second loop, I think. Guess I'm going around this lake. We've got a bear nearby. It's pretty fresh. Hey bears. Bears. Now I'm really on the far side of that lake. Look how big this one is. Has to be old growth. I can reach about halfway around. So that's got to be like 12 feet in circumference. Sweet. Usually when you see one, there's more around. There's a big old cedar. Huh. Bugs, jeez. Bugs, bugs. Look what a beaver did. Look out this big white pine. I didn't think they'd go after trees that size. Holy cow. Got another one in there too. Two more. What the heck? Maybe it's one of those like uh, prehistoric beavers that weighed 300 pounds. It's a bear beaver. Okay, here's the way to High Falls. I'm not gonna bother going any further. Already kind of far enough. I'll be tired by the time I get back and set up camp. But yeah, came from there. 
back to the campground. Let's go. So going clockwise, to the high falls, 9.3k. Oh, here's a campsite that's really close to the trail. Here I am, I just completed the big loop portion, so I went that way. I just came out from there, back to the campground. Okay, so I'm almost back at the car now. If I were to do this again, I wouldn't even bother doing this side. It was buggy, very tough going in the terrain. It was well marked, but just bushy, it sucked back there. Going from here to here, high falls and back, that's beautiful. I'll do that if I were to come back and do it again. Maybe I should have done high falls while I was there, but I'm already tired, I'm at 17k. I'll show you at the car. There you have it. 17k, 3 hours, 22 minutes. I basically only stopped for like 30 seconds a few times. It's my longest hike since my first video in 2013 when I did the Cloche Trail in Killarney. I did over 20k for 3 days in a row. With a pack on. I didn't have a pack on today. I'm pretty tired. Time to go to camp. Here we are. Site number 1. Check it out. I already set up my tent there. Nice and flat. Those trees worked out perfectly. Fire pits here. Tent tables here, obviously. And I'll obviously park my car there. You don't drive your car to this site, which is kind of nice because cars, trucks, RVs, whatever, tear up sites. But this is all sand, anyways, I guess. Anyhow, look how close I am to the beach. This is beautiful. Sun. Boom, it's gonna be on right there. I'm already excited for it. I gotta go for a swim soon. Rinse off, there's no showers here. But it's summertime, I gotta swim anyways. Check it out. Got a little area for the kiddos to swim. Roped off. I think pretty much every site and this park is, in fact, beachfront sites. Set in my tent, lied in it for a second, I thought, no, bad idea. So I went to the little store there. They have cold beverages and a vending machine, three bucks for a Gatorade. And I got a coffee too, pound them both back. Feel a lot better now. Just looking up what lake this is. Grand Lake. Most sites in Algonquin are named after the lake. New Lake, T Lake. Not this one. Okay, so I was wrong. There are some sites that aren't beachfront. Like the ones on this side of the road. 35, 38, 32, 39. You get the picture. But, look at that. Number one. That was me. The last one. So it'd be red now, but on a cell phone reception. I checked before I turned this way to see if there was a site left. Otherwise, I would have to gamble. 42 was open. That looks nice. Good view of the lake. But yeah, small campground. 40 sites and one yurt. Barren Canyon Trail. 1.5k loop. So I guess I start here. I'll go clockwise. Come out over there. Here we go. Bit of a climb up so far. Probably like 300 meters in. But I think I'm getting close to the top now. Oh wow, this is amazing. Look at this. Fall down. Okay, 
Here's more lookouts up there. Need to see someone canoe through here. Here's another vantage point. Nice. Yeah, no sign saying cliff. It's there for a good warning. If this was Hamilton, they would have fenced it off. The waterfalls. I am back at the parking lot. That was a cool hike. Had the place all to myself. But now, two cars showed up. Anyways, 1.3 kilometers, 18 minutes total move. Okay, I'm going for a little walk now. Let's get the campground. Put my cooler in the car. It's actually important to put it in the trunk, but I'll do that tonight. But yeah, bears are nuts. So YouTube videos, they actually learn to open car doors, the handle, so lock your doors too and put the cooler trunks so they don't see it. Bears are very smart creatures. But yeah, look at this place. Kind of like a court here and you just park and then put your stuff in. So yeah, it was number one. That's got to be number, no, that's mine right there. Number two's over there. Pretty neat. So yeah, Paul, if you're coming, where are you going to stay? You bring your camper? I don't see any... Oh, there are campers. All right. There's trailers and sites and stuff. All right. But yeah, check out Paul, Green Blue Earth. Subscribe down below. He says he's going to come next May 2-4. It's a long drive. From Southern Ontario. But it's worth it if you stay a few days, I guess. Let's say bring a boat and... Day trip, Barren Canyon, launch, out and back, do it all. Okay, here is the beach. No dogs allowed. Not on my dogs though. Day trippers coming in, people swimming. Ooh, this looks a little cloudy. I want some sun over there. The sunset. Yeah, Paul, your best bet, I think. So far, let's go 10 through, I think it's 6. If you want to bring your camper, go check the other set the park for fun. There's the store, we got the Gatorade. Right over there, and the coffee. I did ask about Wi-Fi, just to let my family know where I was, but there is none. And they said, you might get some reception if you hang around the building long enough. Maybe because of that tower. But I didn't get anything. Oh well, I'll talk to them tomorrow. But anyways, let's keep going here. Let's see this other side of the park. There's a little dock here. Oh, there's the main building. I guess you could launch a boat pretty easily around here. There's more sites over there, but those just don't look very nice. No beach, kind of in the bush. Canoes and badminton. Yeah, you must be able to rent them here. I see Ontario Parks on the canoe, so it's not Algonquin Outfitters, which drops them off for people. So you could rent one. I think it's like 35 bucks for the day. It'd be something to do. Okay, bunch of logging history. Check out the theater. Or at least it looks close. I didn't bother trying to open any doors. I don't know what it's for or what goes on there. Maybe something to Google. Bunch of guys congregating there. I think they're going on a trip tomorrow, that's my guess. Came in that big van. Yeah, I guess I'll go back to the site, make a fire, swim, cook food. Okay, back at site. It's going to be much better than last night's rush fire at King's Coot. 
Here we go. Well, fire is going. It wasn't a cakewalk. Bit of work. Fire than last night. I don't like making detailed fires. I just say get it going as fast as you can. You need to fan a bit, whatever it's going. No time to make TPs or cut up shavings unless it's soaking wet. But look, I think the sun's behind that cloud bank there. Might drop below for a nice sunset. I'll get in the water now and swim. Then it might be food or sunset first or both. Okay, we got two nice ladies here leaving the camp ground and they're going where? Across the lake to the sandy campsites. Sandy campsites? But you already been there, right? Good call. Yeah. And then we went and walked the high falls and it took us four hours. Right on. I had the whole loop today. It was 17 kilometers. But I skipped high falls because I was so tired by the time I got there. Oh. I didn't know. That that north side, all rocky and it was slow. So you went to the very But I had the whole loop. Yeah. Oh, so you walked the whole loop. Yeah. Okay, sorry. But like you gotta go out and back to the high falls, it looks like, because the other side sucked. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. That's the best part. I didn't know. Like a slide, a slippery slide, you slide down. Oh. Uh, uh, and you land in a beautiful pool of water, like a swimming time. hole. How many kilometers round trip was it if you go out and back? Did you do that? Yeah, it took two hours one way. Oh, I was like three and a half hours going 17k doing the whole loops, the back side. And... Uh, yeah, you do you want to see the picture of the slide? Oh, it's okay. You guys gotta go. Set up camp. Yeah, I want to see the picture. <laughs> All right. While I was swimming and the sun was setting, look what cooked up on my fire spontaneously. We got smoked ribs, fried chicken wings, and steamed vegetables. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I'm just kidding. I never made it. My dad did Sunday night at home. Went over for dinner, give leftovers, put in the cooler. It's only Tuesday night, they're still good. Don't eat anything up to about a week old. But that's gonna be beautiful. Put some butter in there, mash it around. Yeah, it's going good. Butter is almost yeah, it's absorbed. Absorption. It is 8 30. The sky went pink. So to come back down. Loon was just going off pretty good. But it's quiet now. It is 9.50 p.m. It's been a nice day. Sunrise at King Coot. 
south side of the park. Drove up to the east. And now I'm just watching this fire go. Firewood is a big commodity around here. Good morning. It is about 11 o'clock. I slept from, yeah, probably about 11 p.m. all the way to 9. It's like 10 hours sleep. But I needed it. Anyhow, just checking out the beach earlier. I had a snack, brought my chair down here, chilling out. And I was thinking where I'm going to go tonight. Brent, kiosk, I don't know. It's a long way drive off the highway to go there. And I don't think there's much else to do besides car camp. Unless you rent a boat. So I'm leaning towards a driftwood right now. I won't know until I start driving. Please like and subscribe. Check my buddy's Paul channel. Hopefully he comes here at May 2 for He makes the High Falls. The ladies last night in the kayaks were saying that High Falls is amazing. You can slide down like rocks and into the water, swim. I was probably like two, it would have been a 19k hike. I think I did it. Like I think it was only 1k past that marker to High Falls, but I was a little tired and fresh right out there yesterday going through the bush on the rough side. Anyhow, time to go. Thanks for watching. See you next video tonight.